and M3 the Cabin Cat, and I'm just going to be going through some quarters to see if there's any unusual things about them or if I can take them down to the bank tomorrow and cash them in for some other good old American money. Uh, so I figured I might as well make a video of it in case I find something really exciting on any of these quarters. Uh, right now, uh, pardon the dirt, I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a farm, so I probably should be wearing gloves anyway, so I'll put, put my little glove on. All right, here we go now. Here we go. Uh, now I'm sanitized. I uh, don't see any double dye going on there. That's mostly what I'm looking for here. Not as if do -da. As many of you probably don't know, I'm in Virginia. And things aren't going quite as planned. Largely thanks to the Department of Motor Vehicles for the lovely state of Virginia, who are so far behind on their appointments that I cannot establish legal residency in the state until my appointment rolls around on November the 10th. What this has done is messed up my Medicaid and that in turn has messed up my Medicare supplement which prior to this, I did not have to make payment on because I was considered too low income. But since I can't, don't have the Medicaid to prove the low income, I cannot get that insurance plan anymore. And the one they are offering me costs seventy dollars a month, which little Susie does not have and cannot afford. So therefore, I have had to cancel all my medical appointments. Um, I've still not been able to apply for Medicaid. I've got it all filled out. Um, my one hope is I did persuade the voter registration office to accept other documents because largely because I threatened to make a big stink. Uh, about being deprived of my right to register to vote. So they let me register to vote. So once that card shows up here, I'm hoping that the social services office in that same county will accept that as a legal form of residency in lieu of the impossible to get driver's license. And then I will be able to get some assistance, both with the housing and with my medical. So this is a peculiar quarter, but I don't think these are really anything except gouges in the coin there on the D. I don't think that's actual doubling. And there's a another one over on the U. But those don't really look like doubling. That just looks like wear and tear. So I, I'm moving upwards in the years. I did actually have this little pile sorted by dates. I just want to free up some of these quarters. I'm going to do some more of them tomorrow night on the Lodo Coin Collecting Show at 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm also going to auction off a few items from my collection because I have to get some money. My housing situation is messed up. 
my medical situation is messed up. Uh, things just did not go smoothly. And there's nothing I can do about it except try to rectify the situation in some way. So, on the auction, we will be doing PayPal goods and services only. We will not be taking that as a donation unless you just want to send me a donation. We are also offering Square through my jewelry sales. I've been using Square for many years. And so I will have a link available. You will be told how much your total is and given a link to which you can go and submit your money. I never see your card. It's Square's been around for years and it's quite secure. They just recently started this link thing, though, which I like. So, uh, we will be doing that. I'm going to put the rules for the auction scrolling along the bottom here while I look at the rest of these quarters. These are just regular old Washington's. Ooh, somebody scraped the TP out of his face. I don't see, I'm not really seeing any anything that's making me want to jump up and down and holler on any of these. But I have to go through them just in case. Just in case. So I'm making this little video. I'll upload it here shortly. I know that's a wicked looking link. Uh, but we will have it in the in the comments when the actual event is going on so that it should be clickable for you. So, and I do hate to be kind of a, a doodah about this, but this is the other thing that's going to happen. This is really a fundraiser auction, but uh, I'm not a non-profit. So, I'm trying to follow all the rules and not get into any trouble. I just, I need some help and I don't want to just ask people, hey, give me a pile of money. Because that's what's going to take to get me out of this mess. Uh, but I do have things in my collection. What is going on with that? I don't know. I don't think it's anything. Just a reflection. All right. I got a few more to go here. And then this tube will be done. And I could throw them in the change jar. This thing has really grubbed up too. Not very nice. I did find my books. And I'm going to try and search some more while you guys are online with me tomorrow. So those with more expertise than I can point out if I am missing something. Uh, I'm really not seeing anything. I'm terrible at coin searching and, and that sort of thing. I like coins and I do collect them, but I guess it's just because I'm pretty depressed right now. Knowing that I'm having to part with some of my coins is not making me happy. Uh, I'm also probably going to have to part with my guitar. And maybe one of my metal detectors. And uh, amplifier and possibly the gold rings that I have found with my detector. Uh, it's a pretty serious deal. I can't really delve too much into it except to say that this move has backfired on me in many ways. And 
it, the only way I'm going to be able to get myself out is to part with a lot of things that I own. A couple of TV sets. You name it, I'm probably going to be selling it out of my storage shed. I think I have some jewelry. I have handmade jewelry, but I think I also have some other jewelry that I'm going to be trying to find a buyer for. So, anyway. It just... It is what it is. I can't change it. I can only try to work through it. And the main thing that I need to do to work through it is to make sure that I have health care. And so that, that has to happen. I have to live somewhere that is healthy and I have to have regular medical care. And... I was supposed to have those things here, but this driver's license thing has become a major problem. It just really, really has. And then, oh, here's the fun part of the driver's license thing. Uh, you have you make one appointment, and they they do your driver's license, and then you have to make a separate appointment on which to transfer your title and tag. You can't do it all at once. No. You've got to hog up two appointments to do that. Make two trips. It, it's just absolutely ridiculous. I was talking to a gentleman at the post office who sells cars. And what is going on with this? i got to look at that one again. Something crazy. Anyway, this guy sells cars. He makes an appointment to go down and transfer titles for people. They would only let him do one. He had 10 that he needed to do. Right now, my sister is driving a vehicle who is that is actually registered to somebody else uh, because they can't get in to transfer. On paper, she owns it. But the tag and everything belongs to the other people that she bought it from. And that's the way Virginia is right now. Virginia's got people driving around. My best one, I saw a guy driving up the street the other day with a paper tag that he had made out of a cardboard box on the back of his car. And the tag said uh, something to the effect of, don't ask me, ask the DMV, where it was supposed to have his tag number. <laughs> He's driving down the street with that. <laughs> Uh, and, and really, it's the truth. I mean, my appointment is November the 10th. And I made it a week and a half ago. So, yeah, it, it's just, I can't prove that I live in Virginia to the extent that uh financial things and housing things will accept. Uh, I think I may have made great strides when I persuaded the voter registration office and they're going to be mailing me my card. Once I have that, maybe I can work through this, but I'm still going to have to have a lot of money to it's going to be a while before any of these things kick in. It's not like when I moved from Florida to Michigan where I had coverage within about two weeks or when I moved from Michigan to Georgia where I had coverage within about four days. Uh, this is going to take months. I realize it's a COVID issue, but nonetheless, there has to be some type of provision for that, they should issue you a printout something. Um, I don't know what to think of this in on this one. I'm going to set this quarter aside. Let you guys tell me if you think that's just worn down or was it simply not there? But I barely see the eye on in. Well, just put that one aside. All the rest of them are going in the jar, and I'm gonna go. I will see you 
tomorrow at 5 p.m. And we will uh, be doing the car wash quarters. We're also going to search some quarters for errors and goodies like that. And we're going to part with a few things that I really wish I didn't have to. But that's the way it is. So, if you hope you enjoyed watching the quarters. I just needed to sort through them because I want to go to the bank tomorrow. So, we'll see you tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern, for the Lodo Coin Collecting Show. This is, oh boy, is this a mess. Anyway, it's Suzy Q96 and the Cabin Cat M3. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.